This morning, South Carolina will say a finer felt final farewell to the man who led it to the most difficult period. Former Governor Robert McNair died Saturday morning after battling a brain tumor. And all day yesterday, people came to pay their respects at First Baptist Church. The governor's body lined in repose at the chapel. McNair family members were there to greet guests as well. This morning, Mike Wolfolk talks to those that knew the governor and knew the governor well. And they're sharing their fond memories of a man who grabbed the reins of leadership in the most difficult time, not only pulled the state through, but also pushed it forward to new heights. I just remember his way, Mike, I think his, his way of just being so disarmingly easy to get along with. He was just a, an absolutely pleasant, friendly man. Uh, he cared a lot about people. Philip Gross worked for Governor Robert McNair and remembers him as the right man for the job at one of this state's most difficult periods. McNair led South Carolina through the dismantling of its Jim Crow culture. Gross says McNair's political prowess came from a remarkable ability to deal one-on-one -on -one with people. It helped the governor keep the peace. To keep the state not only uh, calm or reasonably calm during a very difficult period of time, but at the same time to maintain its momentum toward improving public education, toward improving economic development in the state, toward improving environmental issues. As South Carolina remembers former Governor Robert McNair, those who handle the state's business now say his leadership came at just the right time. State Senator Kay Patterson among them. He was a good governor because he had served in the General Assembly for some time. And he knew how to get along with people and uh, how to get the best out of people. Patterson is entering his 34th year in state government. He's seen the good, the bad, and the ugly of South Carolina, including the Orangeburg Massacre, which happened during the McNair administration. But Patterson says it's unfair to judge the late governor by that one event. That was an unfortunate situation where these highway patrolmen shot these kids in the backs when they were running away, and the soles of their feet. Now, that's not action that McNair would take. That's the action of those highway patrolmen of which McNair is responsible. He's responsible, ultimately. But that you shouldn't define that as McNair's legacy. Like Phil Gross, Senator Kay Patterson believes Governor McNair's legacy will be defined by his ability to move South Carolina forward on issues of education and economic development. And on a personal level, for his ability to look out for all of the people. That's why I've always liked him. I've always supported him. He was my political friend and he was my friend and we supported each other.